forbidden. Performance was directed in 1968 by Donald Camel and Nicholas Rogue. It was financed by Warner Brothers, the big American studio, which for a time was involved in making a number of high-profile, biggish budget British films, among them 2001 A Space Odyssey, Oh Lucky Man, The Devils, and A Clockwork Orange. I'm including 2001 as a British film on the basis of its being made entirely at British studios, with British technicians, and British actors, such as Leonard Rossiter, in all the supporting roles. This was a time when Americans actually believed in Britain, not just as a backwater known as Merchant Ivory Land, but as an interesting and worthwhile culture in its own right. Whatever they thought of their other forays into the British cinema, the Warner's executives were utterly mystified by performance. Apparently expecting a sort of Easy Rider sequel, they instead encountered a mad psychedelic gangster movie with overtones of Borges, The Craze, and Brian Jones. Disturbed, Warner's put no less than seven editors on the picture and cut 20 minutes out of it, mostly from the beginning of the film. Still dissatisfied, they then shelved performance for two years. When the film was finally considered ready for release, the official censorship began. The BBFC insisted on 16 additional cuts. John Trevelyan was especially insistent that a sequence in which James Fox is whipped should be extensively re-edited. Yet it was not the flogging which disturbed the censor. It was the fact that the scene was intercut with shots of Fox's back being scratched by his girlfriend during a love scene. He said that he could not endorse any explicit statement of the gangster character's sadomasochism. When Donald Camel pointed out that the deletion of the scratching would render the film simply gratuitously violent, Trevelyan replied, so be it. Things like this always puzzle me. You can go out to your local Odeon tonight and see people being tortured, beheaded, shot, terrorized, raped, and beaten up. But can you see a film in which the actors actually make love in a realistic way? In which they, heaven forfend, actually scratch each other in their ecstasy? Then as now, the censor, like the studio executive, far prefers violence to sex.